Welcome to the GameSpike Technology Screencast for our Unity Leaderboards tutorial, intended for Unity developers on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. The purpose of this guide is to provide an example of reporting game results to GameSpy's GameStats service, Atlas, and then querying those results into an in-game leaderboard on demand. While the complete tutorial PDF covers creating a rule set in the Atlas Web Admin Panel and Code Implementation, this video will focus on the steps you need to complete in Unity. For detailed specifics on rule set creation, see either the tutorial PDF or check out our Atlas Web Admin Panel screencast. Download and install the most recent version of Unity from Unity3D.com. While you're at Unity's website, go to Unity3D.com slash support slash resources slash example projects slash third person shooter and download the sample game. Next, you'll need to add the GameSpy Unity SDK to your Unity package. To do so, open the third person shooter directory in the GameSpy Unity SDK package, double click on third person shooter with leaderboard.unity package, and click import when prompted. The package will be imported to plugins slash GameSpy in your project pane. Next, log in at poweredbygamespy.com and create a new game. We've named ours third person shooter demo and filled in the rest of the information accordingly. Your next step will be to create a rule set at the Atlas Web Admin panel. Make sure your rule set matches the one created in the tutorial PDF or your demo won't work. You'll also need to integrate the GameSpy Unity SDK into your game. Details on the required code changes can of course be found in the tutorial PDF. Once you've integrated the SDK, you'll need to add a few details in your Unity project. Open the third person shooter project and open demo.unity located in the scenes directory. Under the Unity Hierarchy tab, select the Controller Game Object. Now, over in the Inspector tab, you can see the scripts associated with the Controller Game Object, which include DeathManager.cs. You'll need to provide four Inspector property values to DeathManager in this tab. GS Game Name, GS Game ID, GS Secret Key, and GS Access Key. Each game has a unique set of identifiers for these values at the PoweredByGameSpy.com developer dashboard. You get these values by selecting your game on the developer dashboard and clicking Details. After you provide those credentials, save your project, then click the Play button at the top of Unity to make sure the project runs without errors, and finally, give your game a test play so that you can see the results in Atlas. If your project is correctly reporting to Atlas, you'll see a message reading, Match Data Reported. Check the viewer on the Atlas Web Admin Panel to verify proper processing when you finish a match. Once you've finished editing DeathManager.cs in Unity and played a test match, return to the Atlas Web Admin Panel for your game and go to the tab labeled Debug Viewer. Please note that it may take a couple of minutes for a game data report sent to Atlas to appear in the Debug Viewer tab of the Atlas Web Admin Panel, as Atlas must validate incoming game data. The Debug Viewer tab provides some important information about the matches, sometimes alternately referred to as sessions, that Atlas receives. However, right now all you're checking for is that your game successfully reported to Atlas. Assuming your game did report properly, you'll see a session ID with an appropriate date and time for your test match. At this point, you'll need to create an Atlas query so that you can populate your leaderboard with your match data. We won't be covering that in this screencast. For instructions on query creation, visit, you guessed it, the leaderboards tutorial PDF. Once you've created your query, make sure to copy your query ID. You'll need to enter it later in Unity. You'll next need to integrate Atlas querying into your game. For our version of the third person shooter demo, Atlas queries is part of leaderboardcontroller.cs, and you can find details about it in the tutorial PDF. Now you'll need to add some inspector property values to leaderboardcontroller.cs. Open Unity and click on the Controller Game Object in the Unity Hierarchy tab. You'll need to associate leaderboardcontroller.cs with the Controller Game Object before you can add those values. To do so, open the Demo Scene Scripts folder in the Unity Project tab. Next, click on Leaderboard Controller and drag it onto the Controller Game Object in the Hierarchy tab. The final thing to do is select the Controller Game Object and locate Leaderboard Controller Script in the Inspector tab. You need to add three key values to the appropriate fields. Query ID, which you copied earlier from the Query Management tab in the Atlas Web Admin Panel. Unique Nick Stat Index, which is the position in the Atlas Queried Leaderboard where you created the Unique Nick Stat. Depending on how you created your Atlas rule set, you can usually set this to 1 in the Unity Inspector for the Leaderboard Controller script. 
And lastly, kill total stat index, which is the position in the Atlas Query leaderboard where you created the kill total stat. Depending on how you create your Atlas rule set, you can usually set this to 2 in the Unity Inspector for the leaderboard controller script. Please note that the query ID for each query in each game is different, so make sure to look yours up and change it accordingly. You can find your query ID on the Atlas Web Admin panel under the Query Management tab. The leaderboard itself does not require a lot of work in Unity. Most of the work is already done for you in leaderboardcontroller.cs. The final thing to do is make sure that the leaderboard's look matches the look and feel of third-person shooters UI. In Unity, click on the controller game object in the Unity Hierarchy tab. Over in the Inspector tab, you'll see the leaderboard controller script that you earlier associated with the controller game object. You need to add a skin for the leaderboard. To do so, simply click the circle selector on the skin line, which will open the Select GUI Skin window, allowing you to select GUI Skin for the leaderboard. Be sure to save your project. To test out the leaderboard, play a game of third-person shooter. When you finish the game, press the spacebar to bring up the leaderboard. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the GameSpy Technology Unity Leaderboards tutorial. For more information, sign up for a free GameSpy account and check out our developer forums and wiki at poweredbygamespy.com.